The rotate tool is next key across, so QWE is our rotate tool. I'm gonna to change that with that keyboard shortcut. Here's the rotate tool. So by default, this is also kind of, this one's actually lined up by default with the objects orientation. So if I click and drag here, I can go to only on the Y axis or the Z axis or the X axis by grabbing the, the lines there. If I click and drag any open space out here, not on these three colored lines, it's a free rotation on all three axes at the same time. And it just kind of spins it around to show me what's going on. Uh, if I click and drag on this blue circle on the outside here, what that does is it keeps the object in place, but it, it, it's as though I'm, it's kind of sitting on a wall. And I'm, again, kind of just pivoting it with my hand, like turning a dial on, the, on a safe, for example. I'm going to just rotate it in place where it currently is. But as you can see, all three axes of rotation are being affected by that change. And it shows you also the angle that's going out there kind of visually. Now, one thing to be aware of with the rotate tool as you use it is that I cannot change my selection with this tool visible if I want to choose something that is behind the manipulator itself. So to change my selection to one of those things, you've either got to you know, pivot around to clear these things away from the manipulator or change to a different tool like the move tool or the selection tool. I can change my selection, then go back to the rotate tool with E and get back and do whatever rotation that object needs for that particular moment. Uh, one more thing I want to show you about the rotate tool and its options in here in that marking menu we just showed you. So hold down E, left click. This option over here, gimbal, will show you what might look a little bit strange um, because now my two axes here, the X and the Z, aren't quite you know perpendicular to each other like they normally are. They're almost overlapping. And in fact, if I grab my Y axis here and rotate it around, I can get them to totally overlap. This is what's called in in the 3D world, a gimbal lock. It pretty much means that based off of normal rotations, via other tools anyway, um, I can't rotate along this axis kind of down in this direction in here because here's kind of a very brief explanation of what's happening here. In all 3D programs, every object is, is rotated through the X, Y, and Z axis in a very specific order. In, in most cases, it's X first and then Y and then Z. But by doing so, you get this overlap potentially happening between two axes. Uh, and so the way around that is, to, in many cases, depending on what kind of operations you want an object to do, you can tell my, okay, your rotation order is not X, Y, Z, it's X, Z, Y, or Y, X, Z, depending on what you want it to do. And that changes which combination of things affect that gimbal lock behavior. Um, so to get things out of gimbal lock, which you typically end up doing, is kind of you know dragging things around and manually kind of forcing it to be you know back in line with you know perpendicular you know, you know to the axes you want. You can also go back into regular rotation mode, maybe back in an object for example, and kind of force the rotation to be what you want, then change it back to gimbal to see what's going on and see how those axes actually line up. In most of my experience, the gimbal mode itself isn't something that I would use while I'm actually animating, I use it more as a diagnostic tool. So as I'm working, I might have the graph editor open and my tool up here might probably be more on object or world depending on my preference at a given time. But if I'm editing some data in the graph editor, for example, and I think that I can get the rotation that I really want for this particular moment by just modifying the X axis rotation just a little bit, and I grab that X value, and it might not rotate on what I think should be that object's X axis, that's because I've hit gimbal lock. And so I can pull up the gimbal you know, option over here for the view and see, okay, yeah, I've got, you know, maybe it's over here, it's still pretty close to full on gimbal lock. So to rotate on what is normally X kind of over in this direction, I've got to modify probably all three axes at some level. Uh, and it's not as easy to do through data manipulation in the graph editor. It's, it's something I've got, I'm just gonna go back into my tools here, change the object, drag it around like this, and then let Maya do its own thing and change the values under the hood to you know, get that gimbal situation under control.